Okay, Addis Max is here. This is a little video about a faucet handle puller. These pullers are always kind of interesting because you have this uh, pressed in steel pin. And actually, initially, I didn't know what they were uh, for. Now I do, to tell you the truth. And they're kind of handy. They're actually for pulling faucet handles. Pretty simple. The whole point to them is, and this happens to be about brass craft, is you have a pin. You remove the screw, and what it does is it actually presses down into the screw hole. We'd have to thread this out a little bit. This thing isn't made too bad. It is Taiwanese. And the whole point to these is the fact most people use little pry bars or other things to remove faucet handles. But of course, you're at a little bit more risk of damage and dinging it. Not to say that this can't do it. But anyway, you just have a simple puller. It has two little notches here. Come on now. That kind of keep these generally in place. It just sits along the edge, and then you just use this to twist down, and then it uses the little rod to push against the bottom of the screw hole and pop the faucet handle off. It does, as we can see on the packaging, it'll work on standard round ones. Actually, I have the old kind of cruciform style in my bathroom, and I think that would be the one style that may not work the best on. These are kind of thick, so they may not fit in all situations. Well, overall, it's just a basic puller. This happens to actually be a cast aluminum upper piece. The rest of it's steel. Little steel rivets. They also talk about a sleeve. And what that's, that's what this little thing is for. And actually, I don't have an example of that. But they do have one on the back here. Where you use that little sleeve to remove the compression fittings off the ends of copper tubing if it's leaking. And I thought that was kind of interesting. Other than that, not a lot else to say, just besides uh, the fact that I wanted to point out that there is specifically pullers just for removing your faucet and tap handles, water tap. And really the big difference between this and like, I mean, it kind of looks like a simple maybe valve spring compressor, another type of simple hand puller. The difference really is just having this pin, that pin to get down into the screw hole is really what makes these advantageous and then when you have one it's just a lot easier to deal with those handles rather than prying or wrenching on them dinging up the faucets or the handle itself and why are these handy because if you have a faucet that's dripping you need to replace the uh, o-ring seals in there and you have to get the handles off in order to take apart the faucets so anyway i thought this brass craft was actually made uh pretty well i mean it's like a cheap ten dollar puller but uh so I've seen some others that were <laughs> pretty bad when I was looking around online. So I thought this one was pretty decent to mention. And for a specialized tool that actually a lot of people uh, at some point in their life, wherever they're living, uh, will need to replace a seal or take off a faucet handle just to, to replace a whole faucet. There is actually a specific tool for it. As far as the removing the compression fittings, that's going to be less common. I hardly see any of those at all, but this, this basic polar unit for getting these handles off makes a big difference. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out. <laughs>